Hello everyone, I'm Crumbs and welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're gonna have a look at Seorama World of Shipping. That is similar to Transocean The Shipping Company, a game that we have played on this channel before and that you guys have been requesting more gameplay from. Seorama World of Shipping was released two months ago to mixed reviews at Steam. The developers have since then released a whole bunch of bug fixes and other updates, so I think now is the time to try this one out. It looks like there is a C-Rama version 2.0 on the horizon. No release date has been given out so far as of February 8th, 2024 when this video is recorded. But we're going to keep an eye on that if you like this video. I've done the tutorial, so I've learned the basics and the rest I hope that we will learn as we progress through the game. There are two play modes, against other AI companies or solo without limitations. So we will try out the solo mode today. Let's jump in there. So we have mode single, description, play without competitive companies for as long as you want and explore every aspect of the shipping industry. Win condition, no end game, losing. You are in a situation with no ships and in depth at the beginning of the month. Company name, let's go with Crumps Inc. Why not? Easy, 15 million. 5 million or 2 million, no first free ship, so we need to start with bank loan there. Let's do medium so we can learn the game and then we can try another mode later. Select your starting port. So we got the whole wide world to choose from. It's not that many, but I guess they will open up and we can have more ports later on. Talon. Yeah, Port of Rotterdam. I think that is the largest port in Europe. L why not? Let's uh, let's start here. It's close to where I live in Gothenburg, Sweden, so. Are you sure you want to choose port or rather confirm? Select type of ship, container, tanker or bulk carrier. I think we start with the container one. And select model, we can't choose, so we get a Panamax container and Panamax is the largest vessel that can go go through the Panama, Panama Canal. 234 meters long, 25 knots max speed, storage is 47,000 tons. And we got a fuel capacity of 2,230 tons. Uh, bottom hull, okay, do we, let's change this. They usually be red at the bottom, right? And I kind of like, let's do red bottom, uh, upper hull, That is kind of the, the Marisk color, right? Let's use uh, that blue. Blue is nice. And then we have the deck. So, is white nice, maybe? Details. Let's go black and then we, no, nah, I don't think, let's go black. What do we have here? Is that, is that nice? I don't know. We shouldn't spend too much time on it. What other color could know? It should be a dark one. Let, let's go that one. I think it mostly have some color there, but we're gonna go with white. Blue and white is nice, red at the bottom. Buy ship. And we are now in port in Rotterdam and we need a crew. So we need a captain, we can hire, we have five names to choose from. We see age, gender, nationality, position is the captain on this one, work experience. So Elizabeth Paul from Tanzania has work experience for four years. She's a little bit more expensive per month, but it's not that much. We got Tanzania, Kenya, Angola, Qatari, and Thai. So two Asians and three African, and I don't really. The age, should we go with the, the most experience? We go with the female captain, and let's let's do 12 months right away. Then we need to hire a chief mate. 
And we got more. And you got more stars on here. Does that mean that you are better? Work experience to five years. You only got one star. Senegal, Libyan, Honduras. Should we go with... Uh, you have two years experience. You are the most expensive one. No, you're not. You are more expensive. Let, let's go with uh, this guy. We got chief engineer. And we got more stars. I guess that is better, right? So, one, four, one, one, two. Spanish chief engineer. Let, let's go in the middle. You got two stars. You got two years works experience. Are you for 12 months? Then we got electrotechnical officer. And I get, I, let, let's hope that this is better with two stars. 29, 26, 30. All got work experience for one year. They cost the same. Australian, Nigerian, and Qatari. Let's go with uh, Florence here. Australian. And the last one, Chief Steward. So Martha and Asante from Mozambique in Kenya. They got two stars. They, oh, everyone got work experience one year. So I guess it's just, let's just pick one. Let's go with Martha. So we got two guys and three women. And now we need to uh, get a contract. So let's sort on flat fee, so we see which one is giving us the most money. And we can see how much or how large it is there. And our uh, storage is 47,000. So we can acquire all of these since this button is green. And I don't think we want to go too far. If I mouse over, you can see the route on that minimap there. And you can also see when the contract expires. So some, you need to go max speed and we don't want to do that. But can we find Port of Tampa? It's straight across the Atlantic. We got 1.4 million almost. Do we have another that is quite, maybe we can, sometimes you can get two contracts if, if they are not that if the storage allows it, but we can't get those because Italy and Bulgaria is pretty close. Greece, so maybe we could probably go with Italy and Greece. So let's try and get both of these. So I will acquire this one. And then we go, yeah, we can, we can actually, we can get the Cameroon, but that is further away. Greece is just next door to Italy. Let's acquire that one as well. And then we go to the ship, the operations menu. And here is the speed. So now it's set to go 10 kilometers an hour. That will take 15 days to get to uh, Genoa in Italy. And then it will take another five days to get to Piraeus in Greece. So if we move this we can see that this change so we want to make sure that this is lower than this so we need to go faster and i i think i want to go a little bit faster just in case so we have a couple of days we don't want a penalty there so we go first go to uh, genoa and then we go to Rotterdam. and i think that's good we could increase the quality of living uh, the morale is 20 out of 128, but I, I think we go with this for the first trip or two, and then we will increase it slowly. There are three different uh, levels. So I guess we, we will start. Start contract. Let's go out. We can zoom out a little bit, and then we unpause. And this will take forever, so let's speed it up. It's now loading. And it's traveling. And I will speed it up a little bit so we don't need to wait. We have a, a storm here. And we don't want to go through those, but sometimes you can't avoid them. 
And when we are getting closer, we can have a look and just see so everything is... We are five days early to that one, it doesn't matter. And we, we one day to that one, so maybe we should speed up when we leave Italy. So we, we are there more than one day before. So we are here and you just unloaded and set new course to Greece. How does it look? Three. Yeah, we are two days ahead, so we're good. We could, if we want to, slow down a little bit to save fuel. But we still have plenty of fuel there, so... And there we go. We can we can see that we have made, made some money. It's seven million. How does this look? The morale is the same. So let's increase this one. One notch for the next trip. And we see if we can boost this morale a little bit. We want to have a new contract. And yeah, we, I don't think we want to go that far on this in the early game. We, we're going to try and take some shorter ones around Europe and maybe over there across the Atlantic. We see we got two of them to Tallinn in Estonia. And that could be, I think both fits. Yes, they shouldn't be a problem. We could go back to Genoa, but there is another one. Flat fee, 30,000 a day. So, I, yeah, I don't think we have a ship that can handle that since we can't get it. But let's try and get both of these. And we head to Tallinn. So, require that one. And that one, yeah. And we have, we actually got room for five, five and a half. But there is no other contract we can do so let's make sure we will get there in time 33 if we go slower we will be there exact now so let's let's go eight kilometers an hour we'll be there a little early and uh, that is set everyone is happy ship is in good condition and we have fuel so let's head out and unpause and sail to Estonia And we are arriving at Estonia or in Tallinn. We got 2.3 million profit. We got some cost there. Let's have a look. And look at that. The morale is now 40. So that actually helped. So let's keep it on this one for a little while. And then I think we can max it up when we have more money. We could refuel if we want to, but I, I set it to auto refuel at, I think it was, yeah, there it is, 49%. So we don't need to do that manually if, if we don't want to. Let's see if we can find some new contracts. And we got the long ones here. We got this one to Africa, Japan. This is in Georgia next to, uh, Russia and Ukraine, uh, Australia, South Korea, Port of New Jersey, that could be a good one. 43,000 tons, it's actually almost a full. Yeah, I'm, I think I will vote for that one. Philippines, Kenya, Germany. No, let's go for uh, New Jersey. New York and New Jersey acquire. Let's see, 34, 36, maybe we should go a little quicker. You never know if there might be some storms or other things on the Atlantic. So let's zoom out a bit. Yeah, we're going to cross a storm, but I don't think that will last that long. Hopefully it, it will be gone when we arrive there.
and we are arriving at New York and uh, we are unloading and we got a 2.7 million profit so we're up to 11.2 million and the goal we are aiming for is to buy more ships and we can do that either by used ships which is a little bit cheaper or we can buy new ships or uh, we could also sell but we can we can buy different ships but let's see what a new container ship costs it costs around 40 million and that is a little bit too much than we have. We could go back and see what a used ship cost. And hopefully that is a little cheaper. We got two used ships, I guess, to choose from. And it's 141 million and 35 million. So we, we can't afford it yet. We just need to, uh, to uh, travel around. And whole containers will make more money. Let's see how the crew goes. So it's morale is 40. We uh, we keep it to this for one more trip and then we can can max it out. Let's see if we can find anything here. So we can go to India back over the Atlantic. Maybe we should travel to South America. Do we have any Brazil? Could it be a thing? And it's 41. Philippines, Oakland, we cross the Panama Canal, we go to California, we got to Canada, that is actually the same route as to Oakland, but as you can see, we can't fit, oh, and we can't have them because this is, all right, so I think I want to go, let's head to Brazil, Brazil sounds nice, 2.9 million, let's acquire that one. And we will set the speed 20. Yeah, we can actually go a little slower to save fuel. Yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied. Let's start the contract. And it looks like we might travel through our first storm. Oh, it just disappeared. We have another one. And I guess the color is, that is wind speed. And we have arrived, got some expenses, port and canal and crew salaries. And the morale is still on 40. So I guess that is good. Let's, uh, should we, no, we, we don't need to refuel. Let's find a new trip and we can go to Italy, South Korea. That is not that much. Do we have anything else in? That is, we, we go back to where we came from. And that is on the other side. And that is also the other side. But we can only get one of them. Salt. 1.9. No, this is 2 million. I think we're going to go with this. Scrap iron. To uh, port of Prince Rupert in... Canada. Let's acquire that. We're going to go through the Swiss, uh, through the Panama Canal, not the Swiss Canal. And oh, we need to speed up a little bit to get there. Forty-six. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Since this is a quite a long one, it's uh, it's forty-six days. Let's let's boost this. We we will boost everything. In case something happens, they need to be treated well. They're going to have really good entertainment on this long trip. Also have really good food and clean. Four, $4,000 worth of food. Is that my Ford? Yeah. For how, I don't know how much crew is. How many we have on board. I know the one we have hired. But I guess there got to be more people working. There's so maybe we are 10, 15 people or so. All right, let's start. And we are loading and we have left.
$225,000 to go through. Oh, something happened. Deck equipment, windlasses, damage to deck equipment due to lack of maintenance. Maintaining the equipment with lubricants for gears and bearing is considered essential. It should be carried out on a planned basis. Is that something we could set up then? Let's just have a quick look since I don't... Maybe we can do that in port. I thought it was... Yeah, maybe it's on, on the condition here that we can do the repairs, I guess. How are we doing here? We are pretty close. Let's speed up so we, we are sure to get there in time. All right, we have arrived in port. 3.8 million. Let's... We can see it's good, but we can't repair it here, because, and that could be because of the harbor. The crew, look at that, it's up to 52, so they are happy. Let's see if we can find a good contract. No available contract at this port at this time. So I guess this could be a good thing to... Uh, let's repair. And then we will also buy fuel. Let's fuel it up. Half a million. And do I need to unpause? How long will that take? Repairing. And we are repaired. Do we have any new contracts? We don't. So I guess we need to move to another port that is closed. So I guess we move here. And should we go down to Seattle? Can we... Okay, they are listed as the closest ones here. So let's move it to Port of Canada. And we, we do it like that. No contracts, okay. Uh, move to, do I do it like that? And we, yeah, it looks like it's moving. So this, waiting for command. But didn't I send you? Okay, do I? Okay, so it, it counts as contract if I added that. All right, I'm learning, I'm learning. Let's speed up and head down here. And hopefully we will have, let's see if we can repair. We could. So let's repair. And let's fix that before we take on the next contract so it will probably not take that far boom we are ready and here we have some contracts so we could go to Kenya Romania Qatar Tanzania Africa Africa and that's Asia Middle East I want to go to uh, to Asia but I like Hawaii or something cool, but I guess we don't have any contracts available for that. We can go down to Peru. Oh, it's not. Yeah, yeah, I reloaded, so it's not sorting off flat fee. Oh, look at that, seven million. Seven. That's eight million. It's it's quite far but look at the money if we get those money we might be able to buy a used ship maybe i will do this let's acquire if we travel eight that won't be good yeah let's let's do it at 10 and we leave we leave this at max and hopefully they will be very happy when we arrive. So we have left Port of Vancouver and now we will sail through the Panama Canal, through the Gibraltar Strait and then down through the Suez. And we pass through 
the Suez Canal, 225, 226,000. And we are arriving at Doha port. We made, well, there were some expenses, almost a million, but we, we did over 7 million. So we got 22 million. Let's have a look here. The crew, 52 in morale. I think they love the good food and entertainment. Let's have a look at the ships. If we can we find a used ship that we can afford? 89 million. This is this is some really big ones. So no, we need to uh, travel and ship some more. And we will continue with this in the next episode. It's uh, I, I kind of like it. It's uh, nice. I will definitely play this some more. If you like it, please give it a like and maybe even a subscription so you won't miss upcoming updates. Have a good one. See you next time. Bye-bye.